out, boys. <laughs> Determination on this face. Jeez. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome back to another video. We're hanging out at Cedar Falls Motorsports Park today for the SFG 350 event. Uh, chasing 25 grand today. Uh, started off with a little bit of a soggy morning, but hey, Mara's out here having fun. What are you doing, sweetie? What's up guys? Future Tom is here and I just wanted to chime in on this video to kind of fill in some of the pieces. You see, this particular race, the 25 grander, it kind of got spread out over the course of three days. So as you can imagine, it was super difficult to actually make like an actual vlog flow throughout the course of three days. Didn't really work good. So I had to chime in here and fill in some of the missing pieces. I do not know how this happened. You guys, I swear, the old man went to the lanes. I waited a half hour, I swear, at least 30 minutes. I felt just like, what have I done? I could not believe it. I mean, there's just hundreds and hundreds of dragsters in this thing. I tried to like back out of the lanes and they were like, Phew, nope, not a chance, not a chance. You're stuck, you cannot do that. Chris Gall coming up here in the left hand lane. Gall's auto repair dragster dialed in 478. He gives a tenth of a second head start to his son, Tom Gall, Gall star. Tom gets there first, but breaks out by two hundredths of a second to do it. My phone blew up after that hit the live stream. People are like, what the heck? What are you guys doing? Total malfunction. It was not at all intended to happen. So we just talked quick. We were like, hey, we're going to go make a time shot. We both just went and made a time shot since one of us were going to have to buy back anyways. Fortunately, it happened during the first round so we could buy back, but... I felt like I needed to maybe explain that here in this video. Mason 
Osborne on the left side. The Gall family in the right side. 466 in the left. 486 in the right. Tom Gall right hand side. Right side, 009, one above for the win. thing I need to explain is actually this re-entry round. There was there's some sort of a timing equipment malfunction. It says that I ran a 384. It says my opponent ran a 388. And all the increments, everything seems messed up. And the only thing that makes sense here is maybe the mile an hour. But uh, So I can't really explain to you what happened during this re-entry round. Uh, but they basically called me up to the tower. And the guys at SFG took care of it. Props to them. Uh, you know, showing them a ticket like this. And it's obvious that there's something wrong. There's obviously a system failure here. And uh, basically, my wind light did not come on but they put me back into the race. They basically put both of us back into the race, which in my opinion was the right thing to do in this particular situation because there's an obvious an obvious issue here in this re-entry round. Um, so I've never seen that before. That's kind of crazy, but uh, it did happen. And thankfully the guys at SFG were super, super cool about it. And uh, they were able to uh, help me out there with that weird, weird pass that happened in the re-entry round. Williams here, left side, in the loping, supercharged dragster, out of Leonardville, Kansas, 439 the dot, another quick car. We got Tom Gall, Gall of Gall Star TV, out of South Dakota, Tom, pulled in the lanes wrong while ago, pulled up right beside his dad. Going to try to make a little bit better decision here, 486 the dial, on Gall's car. Going to the right lane of Tom Gall. Had a one foul advantage at the hit. Goes down, runs 486 3 on the 486 dial. Williams was 24 on the tree, was only one foul behind, but the car runs off. Gall moving on to round number three. Left 
left-hand side is Tom Gall, Gall Star TV, 485 the dial. Right side, Nick Folk. And the VP Fuels X16 dragster dialed in at a 452. Light goes to Tom Gall in the left lane. Tom was seven foul behind at the hit, but runs dead on with a one. 485 one on the 485 dial. Dang, look at all this Lucas Oil. Check it out guys, we're hanging out over here at Lucas Oil at Punisher Racing. Check it out, all of the Lucas Oil products, everything you need. Mike, you want to tell us anything about these Lucas Oil products you got hanging out over here? This is this is new this year. It's a Type F semi-synthetic. Um, I know we got it in both cars, so working great so far. This is kind of a heck of a buy at 20 bucks. Uh, you get all three. This stuff is like liquid gold. I love it. This is like the only thing I put on my race car. It works absolutely fabulous. You got the tire shine in here and also the interior detailer. Yeah, it works on glass. We use it on the glass. Oh, Looks like that. This is kind of a new deal. <laughs> hey, everybody's got to have the hand sandy, right? Yep, yep. 80%. That's the good stuff. Awesome. You know? All kinds of hand sanitizer, Lucas Oil Slick Mist. I mean, transmission fluid i don't have to sell you guys on lucas oil products you guys know it works awesome if you're looking for anything lucas oil racing related punisher racing is the place to pick it up there's links down in the description you can find them on facebook lucas oil at punisher racing there's also a link to that in the description down below or check them out at the racetrack come and see mike and uh, save yourself some coin lucas oil racing products at the lowest available price it just it's that simple Check it out, I see the Punisher Mustang inside the box here, but hey, check it out. Bringing out the bracket dragster today, and you know what I noticed? You know Punisher Racing are running all four products. Check it out. This car, do you guys see that? That's a bow tie. I think they should name this car Punished because this is a Chevy car with a Ford motor in it. What do you guys think? Comment down below. They got it. They got it. Mike ought to name this car Punished. Then they'll have the Punisher Mustang and the Punished Dragster. I think that would be brilliant. Uh, comment down below, what do you think? side 481 the dial Tom Gall right side 485 the dial Side Tom Gall, 14 and 15 thou under. Tom Gall, left side, 483. John Lobner, right side, 477. We are two pairs away from finishing up third round of our dragsters. list 
Dragster, 504 in the left. Tom Gall, 483 in the right. We are winding down the day. We are in the fourth round of Dragster elimination. Gall, 11, dead three for the win in the right. Stefan Liss was double 01 and one above, no good. MOV, fourth out for the right lane for Tom Gall. Tyler Banks, 501 in the left. Tom Gall, 483 in the right. Tom Gall, 16 green, fourth out under on the red light victory. Winner right lane, Tom Gall. Currently still chasing two races. Uh, there's a $25,000 warm-up race that has currently been run over the course of two days and will now be three days. First and second round happened Thursday. Third and fourth round happened yesterday. Now it's Saturday. We're headed into fifth round of that race. So that will happen after today's main event, which is 50,000 wins. I can't do it. Diamonds so pearls. And I'm gonna take a trail in the world. I can love you. Yeah, I'm gonna love you. I'll give you the world of what I've got. Fast and fine, baby, I have not It's gonna love you Yeah, I'm gonna love you I'm gonna love you, baby Cross my heart and hope to die Tom Gall left side, Tyler Bohannon right side, Tyler 462, Tom Gall 483. Tom has a habit of staging last. So we're going to test the cooling systems on these two hot rods, I guarantee you right now. Tom Gall left, Tyler Bohannon right. Three foul red, Tom Gall. Tyler Bohannon, 18, holding five. So Hunter Patton against one of the Gall boys. Don't know if it's dad or son yet. Tom? Uh-uh, there was Tom. We're gonna see how this little staging duel goes. Hunter Patton, 15 dead one. Tom Gall, 49 and 18 foul under. So that that was the end of my my efforts uh, for the 25k. Cracked under the pressure, and you guys will you guys will kind of notice that in some more of the videos that I begin to release. Uh, chasing these bigger money bracket races, that's what I've identified as a problem that I have and it's something that I'm working on is if I roll up with somebody in the other lane that I kind of see as, as a big name, a, a big hitter, if you will, I just crack under the pressure, you guys. It's, it's, it is so mentally difficult. And I know 
Now you're supposed to just run your own race. I, I mean, there's these are things that I'm working on. I actually have like a three things that I need to remind myself every single time I'm on the track, every single time I'm backing up my car after the burnout. I have three things that I remind myself. And I have added the third thing this year, which is race yourself. You have to remind yourself that you're racing yourself. Until I'm past the Christmas tree, I am racing myself, I'm making a time hit, and I just need to ingrain that into my brain. That is something that I've been working on because I have been cracking under the pressure when uh, I, I just flat miss the tree and, and I don't really know it. I just I just fall apart. It just falls apart when there's a big name in the other lane. If you guys have any uh, tips or tricks or how you get past that, because I know some people, they, they race up to their competition really well and they get the opportunity to have a big name in the other lane and they actually perform to their best in those situations. It's kind of the opposite for me. I kind of it kind of falls apart for me. So it's definitely something that I've been working on and it's definitely something that is kind of embarrassing to include into the videos, but I mean, it's the truth. I mean, I'm still proud of my performance. I'm still happy I was able to get two entries to the 5th round. I'm still proud of that. Still had a great day. Made a little bit of money and uh, you know, I had a great time. Had a good showing out there at the SFG 350 event, Cedar Falls. So, super pumped about that. Hopefully, I get a few more opportunities like that uh, coming up here in the 2021 season, and hopefully, hopefully we can have a little bit different outcome. Oh man, Vera wanted to be in the video. <laughs> hold on, hold on, I almost forgot one more thing. If you guys are at all interested in these 2020 Gold Star TV shirts, hooded sweatshirts, all of the things, this is the loudest chair of all time. I have a very, very limited supply of these left and uh, they're probably going to be gone in the next like a couple weeks so you probably want to get on to the golf star tv swag shop if you're interested in one they make great gifts great gifts for uh, your holiday shopping get it done early and uh, we are not going to be reordering this design anymore so these are on their way out if you want one and you haven't gotten one it's kind of the last call final final call for the 2020 golf star tv shirts did you like this one vera and you have one, don't you? All right. Can you do the thing? Say, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.